Hello, everyone. Uh, hope you're well. Today's thought, uh, quick thought, is about uh, momentum. It's funny. I'm here at my friend's grave. And whenever I come here, I always get inspired. I guess I should come here more often. Um, as many of you know, I have an event called Mind's Eye Meditation, which we have every second and fourth Wednesday of the month at The Grove, which is a little shop, part of Bohemian High in Milford, or as some of you may think of it as Devon. Right over the bridge. Easy to get to. 7.30 to 8.30. It's uh, $10. You can pay at the door. Um, you can go online too. But you can just pay at the door. What I do ask is if you could RSVP me. Let me know. Just so I don't have an idea of how many people come because of COVID. Um, we like to keep everybody comfortable and spaced out. And it, at these events, um, we have people that lay down. We have people that sit. And we have people that... Uh, Sick legs crossed on uh, certain pillows and blankets that we offer. It's a good time, actually. It's very relaxing. And the energy of the room is, uh, it's always good. It's always good. So, uh, obviously, it's, 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 put, we, it's for uh, beginners. It's for those that feel that they can't. And so far, our record has been uh, perfect. A lot of people have come that can't and left knowing now that they can. And that's a beautiful thing because focusing on your breathing and sitting is something that so many of us have problems with. And in combination with a book that I'm reading and of course the energy of being here with my friend Steve, um, I'm always trying not to just like promote meditation because I mean, you go online, everybody's promoting meditation or yoga or this or that. My thing will always be uh, backed with education. So, like, why? I mean, you could, you could push something as much as you want. If people really don't get it, they're not going to do it. And they're going to try it at home and be extremely frustrated. That's why I'm not charging 30, 40, 50 bucks. That's why um, I make sure that the venue is very comfortable. And to all that come... Uh, always tell me that they leave very comfortable and they felt uh, they felt like part of the family they felt like their energy gave to the room which to me is very important um, Mind's Eye Meditation is not a Jimmy Gonzalez show Mind's Eye Meditation is a A like-minded group of people that share a consciousness of wanting the same thing. Which, realistically, there's so many ways to describe it, but I, I would just say inner peace. Um, a little bit of silence. Especially in a world with what, you know, with, with what everything's going on. So it, it's very helpful. So... I always try to think of different ways to explain why I feel meditation is so important. And I came up with the concept of um, momentum. I was driving the truck today. And, um, you know, for those that don't know, like even though it's a 4x4 four four truck, it doesn't matter. When there's ice, there's ice. You could have six tires. It doesn't matter. Um, it's about driving slow and being careful and cautious. Remember that. So, but while I was driving... The concept of momentum came along and, and I was comparing it to life and how we live our lives and comparing it to meditation. Yes, meditation, Melissa. Who's always like, okay, where's he going with this? Well, think of it this way. We live our lives chasing that American dream. Well, those in this country, at least. <laughs> Chase that American dream, which for so many, I, what is the American dream? Um, to me, it's just basically the American dream to me is coming to this country, uh, having a background of a family coming from another country, which they really didn't have a chance to follow their dreams, whatever that may be. And I, I don't mean 
the dream of just, you know, becoming wealthy. It could just be the dream of uh, finding someone, of finding safety with your family in a new place, a new home, a new neighborhood, a, a place where your children could go to school, a place where uh, you could have, I have to, I have to bring in the, the concept of pets, but pets. And, you know, I have pets. I have lots of pets. And it's great to know that they feel safe in my home and that I feel safe in my home, under my roof, um, in my yard, in my neighborhood, in my city, my town. And it's a beautiful thing. That is, that's the ultimate success. That's the ultimate uh, dream, peace, safety, security, happiness. And with all that, you pray for good health so that you could continue to live like this. But what ends up happening is so many of us get on this rat race and we end up wanting those things and then the the more money comes in and the more doors open up for us the more we extend ourselves thin and that time with our family that time with our children that time with just walking our dogs um gets shorter and shorter because we want that golden ring and we keep we keep working more and striving more and focusing more on making more. Which is fine. I'm not criticizing people. I'm just talking about myself. And what ends up happening is I feel that you lose something. You lose track of what 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 was important. And when you find yourself working ridiculous hours to live a higher than standard life, but you, but you're not around your kids anymore to do homework at night. Or you know, you have to work on Saturdays because you have to. And your kids don't have anybody to play ball with. Or, you know, teach them how to do things around the house. And they become kids that are raised around us today. Video games. For me, it was basically TV, cartoons. Um, that's all I did. I mean, the best thing that ever happened to me was that my mother got injured when she when I was about nine years old. And I, I had to, like, learn to do stuff around the house, which, you know, was great. I learned to cook. I learned to clean. Um, so everything happens for a reason. But you get caught in this momentum of life, and it's just like comparing it to, let's say, a, you know, a good visual of, let's say, a tractor trailer. And, you know, imagine, you know, picture a tractor trailer on the highway, how big it is, how long it is, um, how powerful how much weight it carries and that tractor trailer is just going along the highway and it's just driving forward it's going fast it's picking up speed it's picking up speed but it gets to a point that in life certain things become more of a priority and before you know it that tractor trailer is now missing exits it's it's missing events it's missing holidays it's missing it's missing uh, that time to be with family, that time to be with friends, that time to just think for yourself, to focus on your health, which is fascinating when people always say, like, you know, I have no time for the gym. I have no time to go for a walk. I have no time for that. It's like, that's just the most idiotic thing I've ever heard of. It's like, but you have time to go to work. So, of course, that immediately to some that are listening now think, well, that's, that's what do you mean? Of course, that's important. Right. But if you're sick and you're unhealthy, you can't work. Like, that's just stupid. It, it should be a perfect balance. And that's what life is about. It's about balance. There should be a balance in health, you know, balance with, with gym time or walk time, time to be with your family, time to, to, to be with yourself. If you're a religious person, time to be with God, time to go to church, time to... Um, Be with those that, that mean, mean a lot to us. But we're in that truck. That truck with that momentum behind us. And it's just moving. And it's just chugging along. Not realizing that, you know, you're, you're, you're 18. You're 21. Big events. Then you're 25. And you start thinking, oh, my God, five years away from 30. And then you're 30, the big 3-0. And then you're 35. And you're like, oh, my God, before you know it, I'm going to be 40. I wish I was 20 again. It was nice being 30. You're 45. You hit the big 5-0. And it's just like, that truck is going. So, in meditation, I think the effort, the effort is, the thought behind it is, is, is wrong. 
at least to me. I, I mean, everybody, everybody has their own perspective. My perspective is different because I, I, I don't. I've never really seen meditation as like a hum, complete silence connection. It was more of like a way of. It's a pit stop. It's a way of just taking many breaks to reevaluate your life, and to. I don't use the word judge yourself, but just kind of like it's almost like a report card. It's like, you know, you go through and you're like, wow, I was I was a complete douche today or I shouldn't have said that to that person or I should have taken more time to do this or I could have been nicer. And but to do that, you have to slow that momentum down. And not constantly. I'm not talking about like, you know, well, I have to work. I know. But, you know, ask yourself, what are you working for? Are you at the point that you're working to pay bills and to take care of your family and yourself to have benefits insurance, of course, and to to enjoy life? So you're making the money to enjoy your life or you're getting to the point that you're making money and you're no longer enjoying life because the balance is off. And you're basically completely top heavy, falling forward. And now your health is beginning to suffer. Uh, your friendships are beginning to suffer. Your marriage is suffering. You're, you know, it's just, and, and you're tumbling. And that momentum, that truck is just flying. It's plowing down the highway. And it's not taking the time to get off. To get off for, for an oil check. To, to, to check its transmission. To check its fluids. To see how you're doing. Because your health is everything. It really is. Ask Steve. He knows. Your health is everything. If you don't have your health, you don't have shit. So again, to those people that say, well, I don't have time for the gym. I don't understand how it's not important. And and, and again, you know, let, let's just knock out the, the gym. In gym per se, it's like, okay, when you get home, you and your, your life partner, your wife, your husband, whatever, you go for a walk around the block. You go to the, oh, but it's too cold. Go to the mall. You know, oh, but COVID, you can still go to the mall. You can wear a mask. You can still go to the mall. You can still go out. You can still do things. You're just, that's just another excuse. It's like, you know, go to, go to Ikea. We go to Ikea. I go to Ikea. Ikea is big enough. I just go to Ikea. I talk to the guy about his catalog and how it's so important. You go up the escalator. There's a little place to eat, which is open again. And you walk through Ikea. And you just daydream. I look at stuff. I look at chairs, I look at candles, prints. Maybe I could use a pillow. I don't know. <laughs> you go, go down back the, all the way through through the top, downstairs. You have your um you have your uh your kitchen stuff, your 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 lighting, your baskets and bins and desks and all that stuff. It's fun. Uh, for a challenge for many of you, I, I challenge you. The shopping uh, IKEA has the shopping carts that all four wheels spin. So I challenge you when you go there, and I don't care how old you are, have fun with it. And if anybody's watching you, who cares? I want you to walk straight, right? And be careful, make sure there's nothing around you. And what I want you to do is to spin it, either to the left or to the right. Make it do, allow it to do it in a completely uh, a round circle, all the way around. And then it has to land right in your hands again perfectly. Okay, so none of this. It has to be like, and go, and grab it. Recommend that. Try it. It's fun. I do it all the time. And people see me. I don't care. It's fun. Because it's my life. And I'm not endangering anybody. Don't do it near the glass section. I tend to do it at the bottom of the stairs when you come back from upstairs. There's shopping carriages right there. It's a huge open space. It's safe. Grab your carriage. Spin it. Grab it. Uh, before I stop talking about IKEA, they sell these these uh, chocolate uh, cookies, the round cookies. It's like uh, six bucks for a, a box of a lot of them. I highly recommend you get like at least six or seven boxes of those because those are like crack. They're good. Um, but anyway, so with meditation, <laughs> you're like, how do you get back to that? A, it's a pit stop. It's it's a moment to sit. It's a moment to be still. It's a moment. To just focus on your life um, and focus on now. You know, like it's not, it's not like really based on like, oh, I'm going to focus on my life and, you know, how horrible. It's it, those things are, it's okay for them to come into your mind, but it's just there to really like take a moment and question why, who, what, when, where, why, sometimes why. And 
How can you better yourself? You know, what do you have more to offer while you're here? This planet isn't yours. Nothing you have is yours. Nothing you own is yours. Everything is borrowed, uh, bought. It's temporary. It's temporary because the minute you die, it's gone. It's not yours. That's when people come along like vultures and take it all. It has no value. So really all you have to offer is you. The person you are. And, 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 and what you can offer people. That's why you're here. And that's what makes life beautiful. But to do that, it's good to take these little stops, which I like to call meditation. And you just sit there. And if your mind, if your mind races, let it. Like the people have that issue of oh, my, ra- my mind races. It's like, who cares? Let it race. It races. You realize there's nothing you can do about it. You can't pay your bills. You can't talk to that person. You can't take care of that to now. So you go, okay. You realize what it is. You're aware of it. And then you let it go. And then you go back to some silence. But stop that momentum. Stop that tractor trailer from going so quickly. Be aware of your health. Be aware of how you feel. Be aware of who you are today. Why did you wake up the way you did? How do you feel? You feel good? Are you loving yourself? If not, have you forgiven yourself? Good drink. But I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it investing in yourself. Investing yourself by simply sitting. Sitting for 30 seconds, for 60 seconds. Just a minute. While you're having coffee, next time, while you're having coffee in the morning or at night, um, put your freaking phone down and just be still. Think. Ponder. Stop that tra- that Stop that truck. Just for a moment. Think about what's going on in the now. Because the past is yesterday. That's gone. Whatever you may have done, all you could use that now is for education to analyze what, what you did and why you did it and go, okay, but that's gone. Tomorrow, what's coming, hasn't come yet. Really, if you think about it. It hasn't come, so what's the point of focusing on that so much? Focus on now. The right now. How do you feel? What you're carrying with you. If you have any baggage, let it go. Are you angry at anybody? Let it go. That's always a difficult one for people because they're like, you know, oh, I'm angry, I'm pissed or whatever. It's like, yeah, I know, but I'm not telling you to like call that person. You don't have to really because trust me, whatever you guys fought over, usually they've moved on and they don't care. You're the idiot on this side carrying this baggage, which is making you sick. So just take some time. Think of that person. Think of what happened. Whether they did it, you did it. A lot of times it's both of you. Trust me, it's both of you a lot of times. And you just say it. I forgive that person. I forgive myself and I let it go and I move on. I love myself. I'm happy. I'm going to continue focusing on me. So please, focus on you. Always. Be safe.